What is going on ladies and gentlemen, Monkey Flop here and today we're going over new on PS4 baby the games that got released this week. Let's go, let's get it, let's see what's good. Death Stranding, okay we need to talk about this for just a second because um, people that get their hands on review codes are now able to publicly share their opinions. And there's a lot of wild opinions out there about the game. A lot of them are positive. Um, me personally, I did not want to get a review code because I have so many other games and so many other responsibilities right now um, that I wouldn't have time to, you know, dive into this particular game and play it through enough to, you know, there's time limits and things like that, that, uh, and expectations that people have for you. And with this game in particular, I was like, you know what, I'm going to buy it on my own. I don't need a review code. I definitely want to get it. Um, but I want to buy it on my own and I want to play it at my own leisure as opposed to, you know, having a rush and getting a video out and like not, not enjoying it as much as I would just because I have so many other games that I'm playing right now. So I will give you guys my honest opinion once I do play it. Um, if you guys do pick it up on the 8th, let me know how it is and let me know your guys' experiences as well. We got a couple of other pre-orders that I really don't want to go over. We got Neo 2 Open Beta. Now, all in, honestly, in all honesty, there is going to be a lot more people talking about Neo 2 than Death Stranding because Death Stranding... Only a few people get their hands on it. Neo 2 is an open beta on the PlayStation 4 available to absolutely everyone. Now, keep in mind, if you don't see this in your region, um, you can always create a US account. You can search up US PSN account in Monkey Flop. You'll find my tutorial. And um, it's a pretty easy tutorial on how to create a US account if you need the assistance of myself. That's available, um, but Neo 2 is going to be something that a lot of people are going to be talking about because it's going to be in the hands of potentially millions of people. Um, so it's going to be very interesting to see. There's a couple of other pre order uh, not pre orders, but there's a couple of other games that got released this week that are, it, it's, you know, it's kind of like a hit or miss. Uh, sometimes some of these indie games are like hidden gems. So if you guys pick up anything, on this list let me know in those comments down below and let me know what you guys honestly think um battlefield 5 year 2 edition i honestly don't know if i'd recommend it at this point there's so many other good games out there and this game is already kind of old <laughs> if you want to be a truck driver they have that for you apparently ghost parade castle costumes cool paint vr 39 days to mars there's some weird and quirky games out there Disney classic games, Aladdin and the Lion King. I want to talk about this for a second. I'm going to have a full review of the video game up on the channel next week. Um, I actually get it early from the developers, so big shout out to them. And um, I actually get it on the Nintendo Switch. Um, I know a lot of people are going to be like, you're a PlayStation channel. I get it because it's, it's a, something that's kind of nostalgic for me, but I also wanted my kids to play it. If you guys don't know, I, I get too small. Uh, girls at home and um, I wanted to show them like what video games were like back in the day and like what video game like you really had to like grind and push to get from one level to another it was not fair it was not easy uh, like the video games to today um, so the Disney classic games Aladdin and the Lion King hold true to its original state of course uh, some of the graphics and stuff have been upgraded when it got ported over to the PlayStation 4 because let's face it 16 bit playing on the PlayStation 4 would not be that good now on the Nintendo switch side of things it played beautifully uh, we didn't have any issues whatsoever um, I prefer the Lion King um, of course my girls played a lot of Aladdin so um, <laughs> it's like uh, you know we'll, we'll have more of a discussion on it at a later time but I just wanted to mention like the game is pretty cool and it's available on all consoles um, you can pick it up digitally or physical copies as well there's a couple of other games and apparently this game is unavailable <laughs> um, a lot of people picked up medieval which last week that was pretty cool a lot of people are playing outer worlds and call of duty advanced warfare let me know what your guys honest uh, thoughts and opinions about this week's uh, new games that got released 
honestly, uh, Neo 2 open beta, a lot of people are going to be playing it and it's going to be an awesome time. Um, I think, um, I also did upload a couple of other videos this week, so please go and watch those. One of them being, uh, Call of Duty, Modern Warfare actually partnered with Mountain Dew Game Fuel and Doritos. They sent me out to a, a live stream that happened a, a little while ago with a bunch of pros and stuff. It was a, an awesome time. I wasn't expecting anything else, but they told me, oh, we want to send you some Call of Duty swag. And I'm like, okay, cool. But I was thinking it was going to be like a small package. No, they sent a massive crate to my house. I could barely carry it inside. And it, it's just awesome. So please go and watch that and the rest of the videos that I get up uh, for the for the for this last week. I also did want to uh, quickly mention, like, if you guys celebrated Halloween uh, yesterday, happy Halloween. If you guys didn't, hopefully you guys had an awesome Thursday. As for me, it's kind of a tradition that we get together, uh, all of our friends and family members get together, and we do a haunted house. So we scare the neighborhood and stuff. <laughs> it's totally fun. We have two separate areas. So we have an area for uh, the little kids, the, the kids that don't want to get scared or are too young to get scared. Um, so we have a couple of projectors up playing some Mickey, you know, Halloween cartoons and some black and white images and things like that. Uh, two fog machines going, a full graveyard. Uh, we had like one of uh, the tombstones was electronic, so like pop up every once in a while. A bunch of interactive Halloween stuff. If you guys saw my uh, Snapchat or Instagram, you would have uh, seen some of the props and some of the stuff that we get going on. It was an awesome time. Um, and then the haunted house, we had a black light, people scared. Um, we were scaring people. I was one of the main scarers, and it was amazing. It was so cool to see, you know, everybody get scared. There were some people that, because when you go into the haunted house, you have to go in to get the candy. Um, there were so many people that left the haunted house without getting candy just because they were so scared. <laughs> it was it was an awesome time. So I just wanted to share that with you guys really quickly um, because I don't want to really make a separate video for that. I just figured I'd throw it in at the end for those of you guys that are legends and watch uh, my videos all the way till the end. So let me know what you guys did on Thursday and how it was for you, whether or not you celebrated Halloween. If you didn't, what games were you playing or what were you watching on TV or what did you do? Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to hit a like, comment down below, and let me know what you guys honestly think about the new games that got released. And I will see you guys in the next news update. You guys are freaking awesome.